if God is infallible, and he inspired this book, why do the prophecies about the returning Jesus repeatedly speak about Jesus returning soon? Very soon. So soon that every generation of Christians has always thought that Jesus was returning in their lifetime. They weren't just hoping he was coming in their lifetime. They thought he was coming in their lifetime. And they were staking everything. They were, they were, they were selling the farm. Oh, right? No, that's right. No, no, let me finish the question. So how could an infallible God be such a poor communicator that his most loyal adherents and followers should mi misunderstand his inspired word? It seems to me a better explanation would be uh, that, in fact, the earliest authors were simply mistaken about when Jesus was coming. They thought he was coming in their lifetime, and so they wrote it so, so that it seems as if he's coming right now. And thus, every generation of Christians picks up the Bible and thinks it's about to happen. For those of you who don't know what you're watching, I recently had a debate with Floyd concerning the second coming of Jesus Christ, which I believe I handed him a thoroughbred butt whipping uh, in that debate. But afterward, I opened up the room to a after-party Google Hangout, and Ozzy was one of the persons that came in to that particular Hangout, and Ozzy was posing questions uh, about the infallibility of God, and why didn't he make the Word of God so clear that people would understand the second coming of Christ, or at least the people that he was talking about were Christians, uh, that, that, that apparently we don't understand uh, uh, the second coming of Christ. I do want to say this, Ozzy wasn't speaking for me, Ozzy wasn't speaking for prophet or prophet, and Ozzy wasn't speaking for any of you Christians out there. Ozzy was speaking for Ozzy. That's number one. Number two, I believe that he came in a room with a clear agenda to question the um, the the, inf the infallibility of God. They have this belief that Bible prophecy is vague, that Bible prophecy isn't clear about things. And for those of you who've ever studied, who, who has ever studied eschatology, you know that's a bunch of baloney. Um, I do want to say this. Um, I understand Bible prophecy. I understand why people in, in the, um, understand why people in the early, early church thought Jesus Christ would return uh, during their lifetime. I understand why he why, why many people in, in, in our lifetime today believe that he would return. But if he didn't, it doesn't make God a liar, and it doesn't make the fact that the Bible is not clear. In fact, uh, written in the very pages of Scripture, it says that no man knows the day or the hour when the Son of Man will return. Not even the angels in heaven. And Jesus gave us signs to look for regarding his coming. Um, I believe that Ozzy is using hideously poor logic to say that because God didn't make it clear enough for him to understand that that somehow means that uh, <laughs> that the Bible uh, is, is miscommunicating prophecy or that uh, the, the, um, the New Testament church uh, 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 did a failed prophecy regarding Jesus Christ. I'm going to show you guys why that's bad logic, by the way. Uh, let's say we were talking about evolution, right? Uh, clearly, everyone doesn't believe in evolution, I mean, doesn't understand things about evolution. I mean, you, you'd be surprised, guys. you got people that believe in single cell organisms that everyone evolved from. you got some people that believe you evolved from rocks, blue-green algae, people that believe that you evolved from ooze. It changes depending on the person that you talk to. Do I then say that because no one understands uh, what everyone evolved from? That that somehow means that uh, that that evolution is automatically false. I would never get on the internet and make such a stupid argument about evolution. I'd rather just ask you guys for the evidence, which you guys still haven't provided me with, by the way. So um, Ozzy is using extremely poor logic right now, by uh, by because he doesn't understand the Bible, then that means the Bible is wrong. Because he doesn't understand something, then that makes it wrong. No, I think it was a failed attempt on his part to try to come in. And try to make Floyd's argument look good. Again, I've handled this type of argument dealing with the full preterist view. And I still stand by what I was saying. Uh, that um, Floyd was using a straw man. A straw man version of the full preterist view. Trying to argue that uh, Jesus Christ is going to return in the first century. Okay, He's an atheist. He doesn't even believe that Jesus Christ existed. And he doesn't believe that Jesus rose from the dead. He was just borrowing somebody's argument. Take up time in a debate. To try to make the Bible look bad. That's what was happening at the end of the day. Well, let's continue. Yeah, but, but that just means that God is miscommunicating his intention. He's using no, no, no. He's using the word soon, and he means he means millennia from now when he says soon. I mean, that is miscommunication, well, well, right? An omniscient God would know better. This is a classic case 
but why a person needs to be born again before he can understand the things of God. Um, when, whenever a Christian or a Bible believer or a child of God is reading the scriptures, we're looking at the scriptures from God's perspective and not from our um, perspective alone. If you remember what Jesus said um, in the Gospels, he said that if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself, pick up his cross, and follow me. Okay? And that involves you putting aside your own ideas, your own presuppositions, and listening to him and looking at things from his perspective. Because if, 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 if you... If you are a disciple of Christ, you are you have admitted that you've done things your way, and the results that you have gotten doing things your way has led to death, has led from eternal, it has led to uh, separation from God. But if you are obedient to the Word of God, um, 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 and, and and you come to Christ, then you're acknowledging that you need someone uh, greater than yourself, and that's not what Ozzy's doing. Ozzy is trying to understand these things with, with his own finite thinking. Instead of looking at it from God's perspective, God is eternal. And what he would deem to be soon and what we would deem to be soon is two entirely different things. And again, I think Ozzy, um, I, I'm, I'm not saying that he's being intellectually dishonest here, but I do believe he has an agenda to try to point out or try to show to the people that were watching the Hangout. And at that time, there was a lot. Uh, that God um, did a poor job of communicating Bible prophecy. No. Ozzy simply didn't understand, and Ozzy is trying to say that because he didn't understand, God did a poor job of communicating. How do you explain to billions of people who do understand Bible prophecy? Seriously. Uh, I guess my rebuttal... It's a false to, teaching. My, my, my rebuttal to the, uh, the, uh, the both your responses um, uh, would be that an omniscient God is going to be able to uh, anticipate misunderstandings. I mean, we do it all the time. I mean, we, we, we miss... We, we, we routinely anticipate that our words might be uh, misunderstood, and so we take care, um, if we're wise, uh, not to be misunderstood. And we, we're careful in our choice of words. Uh, I would think that the creator of the universe, who's omniscient uh, and sees right into the future, um, would, would take care in his choice of words and would not inspire words that would lead every generation of his worshipers to be mistaken about when this was when this was going to happen. And not only to misunderstand when it was going to happen, but to misidentify the signs. These signs that we're supposed to be able to read, every generation thinks that they're seeing the signs in their generation. Clearly the roadmap here, right, the criteria for the prophecy are so vague that no one is able to say, no, 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 it's not happening now. Every generation looks at these at these criteria, at these at these prophecies and thinks, yep, I look around and I read this and it's happening now. And we're talking about some of the most devoted and faithful Christians throughout history all over the world. I mean, if, uh, this is bad prophesying. This is uh, laying down bad criteria. And this is, for me, one of the reasons why I think Christianity stands uh, falsified in its claims about an omniscient creator. This, this just seems inept. I don't see how an omniscient uh, creator that can see right into the future could possibly write prophecies that are so opaque, so vague, that even the most devoted followers are going to get it wrong generation after generation after generation for over 2,000 years. It just seems to me implausible. Guys, I bet you my bottom dollar, Ozzy has never studied Bible prophecy a day in his life. Um, but there's a reason why you guys don't see me talking about abiogenesis, black holes, and things like that. Because I can't go into the detail about those things that I can regarding my faith here on YouTube. Not to mention I'm going specifically to talk about my faith um, on this channel. Uh, and to talk about the last days and the lives that caused people to fall away. Um, he believes these prophecies are vague. If I had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Ozzy... I'm willing to bet my bottom dollar Ozzy doesn't know what the heck he's talking about. In fact, he's never even read these prophecies. He doesn't know what the Bible says about these things. He hasn't investigated any of this. He hasn't tried to understand any of these things. Okay? It's easy for him to go on his channel and make an individual video and go, Well, gee, man, I did study this. The Bible says me while he's looking at Google and what somebody else said, not realizing uh, uh, that, that not everyone who talks about this topic knows what they're talking about. Okay? I believe that Jesus Christ is very clear. When he was talking about this, uh, Jesus said, "No man knows the day or the hour when, uh, when, when, when he would return." And he's saying that the first-century Christians believed that he would return. Look at all the persecution that happened um, uh, in the first century. Of course, they're going to believe that. 
Look at all the persecution that's happened throughout the centuries. Of course they're going to believe that. It's one of the signs. But there are other signs that we will later find out as you go on through the New Testament that had to happen. Like, for example, the, 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 constructing, the, the construction of the new temple. Uh, Israel becoming a nation again after it was destroyed in 70 AD. Um, things like the mark of the beast. Like I mentioned to Floyd when he was like, which way did he go? Which way did he go? When I was asking, asking questions about that kind of thing. It's not that God is a, bo a poor communicator. You got fallible human beings uh, going against what Jesus said and no man knows the day or the hour and trying to predict when he's going to come back. And then, and then uh, Ozzy's even be, being even more either ignorant, willfully ignorant, or dishonest with the fact that we have uh, people who are saying that they're Christians, when they're really not, making Bible prophecies um, about Jesus' return, like the Jehovah's Witnesses, who have, I think, two to three failed prophecies about his return. You have um, uh, that guy from Family Radio, uh, Howard Camping, who made a prophecy about Jesus returning, and he misunderstood God. It isn't the fact that God is a poor communicator. It's the fact that human beings are going against what the Word of God says. We don't know when he's going to return. That's just the honest, straight-up answer. Okay? So, um, Ozzy can't attack the infallibility of God with this. What he can do is attack the fallibility of man. Man needs to take the time out to actually study and read before they try a smear campaign against Almighty God because they don't understand what scripture is teaching. Again, there's no confusion with me. I don't think Prophet or Prophet is going to be like, oh, I'm just so confused about the coming of Christ. No, you're not going to get the Apostle Paul talking about it. In fact, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 goes into detail about everything that has to happen before Christ returns. Another passage of scripture that he's willfully um, ignoring. And not just him, it's Floyd and several other people out there who have an agenda to attack Christianity. Not religion, but Christianity. So, Christianity has, has not been falsified. Ozzy, if you would do yourself a favor, I mean, you, you can download the Bible to your phone. You can go to a Christian bookstore and buy a Bible. You can go to Walmart and buy a Bible. My recommendation for you is to buy a Bible and actually read it. Don't go to evilbible.com for your information. Don't get the footnotes. Don't go out there um, listening to secondhand information. Take the time out. Make some sacrifices in your life. It's like you can read The Origin of Species and, and um, God Know and all these other books and whatnot. Um, take time out to read the Bible for yourself. And then you'll know for yourself what the Bible actually says. And if you don't understand something, do what little kids do. And what I do when I don't understand something. Find somebody who knows more about it than you and get some answers. And don't play stupid when you're doing that. So guys, this is part one of uh, Ozzy's bad logic. Part two is going to be dealing with his no true Scotsman fallacy um, uh, claims um, where he uh, claims that I was committing the no true Scotsman fallacy. And I'm going to show you guys uh, very quickly and briefly why he doesn't know what he's talking about regarding that. Read your Bible and do what it says.